Michelle Bernard recently, uh, as Media Matters uh, for America points out, said uh, Barack Obama, quote, was almost declaring class warfare, end quote, in his speech to America. This class warfare meme, this is coming out like crazy all over the place. All over America, we are hearing this, this, oh, it's class warfare, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. Well, class warfare is real. And class warfare has been going on in this society in the United States and in this world. I mean, you could, for 7,000 years it's been going on in this world. It's been going on in this country since it was founded. But it really went on steroids in the 20th century with the election of Ronald Reagan. And as Warren Buffett famously said, yes, there is class warfare, and my, he speaking for himself, a billionaire, my class is winning. So Barack Obama's comment, the thing that, that, that has everybody all set off, all the conservatives, here he is, he says, uh, yeah, we're you want to fight, we'll give you a fight. I know these steps won't sit well with the special interests and lobbyists who are invested in the old ways of doing business. And I know they're gearing up for a fight as we speak. Yeah, My message to them is this. So am I. So am I. They are gearing up for a speech even as we speak. And that's, that is the important... It is so nice to hear Barack Obama using the kind of language that Franklin Roosevelt would use. It is so nice. But just consider how that fight is going to be, is going to be fought. How, you know, wh what... Broadly speaking, how these people are dealing with this stuff, how you know the the, the 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 just the whole issue here, the anxiety in the economy, the 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 uh, uh, Barama call, uh, Obama calling it an era of new responsibility. There was a conversation over the weekend between Juan Williams, the right wing Fox News commentator who started out on public radio and public television and still is there, and Scott Simon, who's, you know, a decent guy, I'm, I'm sure, and, and uh, does a great show, uh, Saturday, Saturday edition, the morning show on NPR. These guys had this conversation, and it starts right off with this socialist meme. I mean, it just, it just begins with the socialist meme. Juan, well, thanks for being with Good us. Good morning, Scott. Um, Congressman Gonier, uh, the House Republican leader, uh, calls this one, calls the voucher proposal, quote, one big down payment on a new American socialist experiment. So immediately they go into the thing, okay, let's quote a Republican and get out the socialist thing. Let's not talk about the fact that, that at the very most, what Obama is talking about doing it with regard to taxes is going back to the Clinton era, and nobody's talking about rolling back the Reagan tax cuts. You know, to put this in any kind of historical context, we're just going back to the way things were when we had a balanced budget. But no, no, it's socialism. So uh, Scott Simon sets it up, and and uh, Juan Williams, the the right wing uh, whack job from Fox, carries it forward. Juan, thanks for being with Good us. Good morning, Scott. Um, Congressman Vanier. Uh, the House Republican leader uh, calls this one calls the voucher proposal quote one big down payment on a new American socialist experiment. Those are fighting words. They are. I mean, clearly, this there is no bipartisanship on the stimulus bill that the president talked about Tuesday night before Congress, and none on the budget that was announced Thursday. Uh, the Republicans are drawing the lines, much as you just described Congressman Boehner doing saying that what the president is about, uh, they don't say it explicitly as socialism, although you will hear that on the mm -hmm. talk show circuit, but they're talking about taxes and spending that will balloon deficits uh, mm -hmm. and burden future generations, drive inflation possibly, but essentially then take money away from uh, businesses in the country mm -hmm. um, and therefore cripple the economy. So they're making a strong bet that this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, now, now, these are all... The Republican memes. I mean, these are just absolutely all the Republican memes. They we're going to take money away from the economy. It's going to cripple the economy. I mean, just laying it out. No rebuttal. No response. No. No. Uh, but what about the rest of the story? And uh, well, it's just good morning. I, I'm sorry. I haven't figured out how to how to wrap this thing up. How to how to pause and then continue from this this kind of a clip. So I'm I'm just going to move on. But but that you know he he lays this out. No discussion of the history of higher taxes. No discussion of Clinton. No discussion of Eisenhower. It's all the the uh, 
and 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 at the very end of this, and Sean, you may want to pot this down for a second, well, and I'll tell you when to bring morning. it up because I want to get into it, and and uh, you know I've got to just replay the thing from from the beginning. But at the very end of this thing, he gets back to how Obama is using the word responsibility. Now, responsibility in Republican speak is code for you're on your own, Charlie. So you don't have a job, go to the homeless shelter. Responsibility is is the is the message for we don't need no stinking social security we don't need no stinking Medicare we don't need no stinking welfare we don't need no stinking unemployment uh, educational assistance housing and credit help bankruptcy laws uh, all these so-called protections well these are things that responsible people don't need and don't use and that was the essence of the conversation that Scott Simon and Juan Williams in particular Juan Williams were having this weekend on NPR and uh, here it continues. So they're making a strong bet that this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I must say, in political terms, it, this argument has revitalized the Republican Party's base. Um, their base is, in fact, growing stronger in terms of opposition to President Obama. But among independents and Democrats, President Obama is doing fine. His favorable numbers, his approval ratings are way up there. And the general response in terms of polling to what we've seen of the speech and the budget has been very positive but President Obama is using the word responsibility a lot in fact if you look at the uh, document the budget document it's called a new era of responsibility and so the battle lines from his perspective is to say the Republicans have not been responsible in terms of how they have conducted this economy over the last eight years well and arguably there's some truth to that fact but the point is that at no point is there a discussion about the fact that George W. Bush ran us up this huge deficit? He said, you know, well, you know, it's a, the Republicans are all concerned about taxing and spending and all this kind of... I, come on! It was George W. Bush who was doing the, uh, the obscene spending. And then it gets even worse. It gets even worse in this interview. Now, keep in mind, this is coming from what is supposed to be unbiased media, National Public Radio. This is supposed to be, you know, a uh, thoughtful conversation. No, it's a right-wing crank putting out his talking points. For example, let me ask you about this feature of President Obama's plan. Uh, families making more than $250,000 a year would have to pay higher taxes. Uh, they would see deductions reduced for their mortgage interest and charitable contributions. Now, this is the group of taxpayers that, that A, are often you rely on to invest in the economy and create jobs. And B, oh, yeah? They voted for President Obama. They did. They, they did strongly, 52%. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause it right there and uh, say, you know, Scott Simon saying, now this is the group, now this is people who make more than $250,000 a year. This is the group that we rely on to, to invest in the economy and create jobs. Say what? It is not the group that you, that you rely on to invest in the economy. The investment in the economy that creates jobs is working people spending money. That creates demand. It creates demand, and demand is what creates jobs.